to prepare and cook a duck part two and in part two we are just going to simply roast a whole duck in part one as you know I showed you how to prepare the bird but in part two without no fancy trimmings no sauces we're just going to simply roast this wild mallard so what I'm going to do a big knob of butter in the pan well, and then good seasoning all over salt and pepper you can see I took the wind tips off this one they were small they were a bit damaged so I just took them off so plenty of salt and pepper some salt inside there salt over the top pat it down get a bit more so we're waiting for that butter to brown to foam the burn wasette and then we're going to just lay our duck in there lay it leg side down to start with we'll cook it on a low heat for about four or five minutes aside just till it takes a bit of color then we're going to flip it over do the other side turn the heat up a bit we're going to do the breasts and then we're going to put it in the oven which i pre-warmed at gas mark six and we're going to cook it for about 15 minutes because this duck only weighs 600 grams a wild mallard and hopefully what we're aiming for is when we pull it out of the oven and rest it to be nice and pink so I should move the camera over onto the uh, pan and we'll get going so that's browning nicely so what I will do I do it in this pan because it's got a bit of shape and I should be able to hold it up so I shall rest it on its one leg for five minutes and then I will turn it over when I've got a bit of colour and we'll do the other side. If you can see over in my pan over on the right, that's my game stock I'm just finishing off. It's just coming up to speed. I mean that took four hours. There's a video coming with that as soon as possible. So we'll uh, get on with this duck and we'll get back when I flip that over. As you can see, got some nice colour on that. So I'm just going to rest it on that leg. Might have to hold this bad boy on this side. So we'll give that four or five minutes and then we'll put it onto its breast. As you can see, I've got some fantastic colour on that duck now. There's one side of the legs, the other side. So what we're going to do is gently on the breasts, we'll put it on an angle, just do one side of the breasts for about three minutes, turn it over, do the other side, get that lovely colour on. And it's amazing, the smells in here, sometimes the simplest things you cook, just this duck in butter, and it's absolutely fantastic. Right, that's been three minutes aside. As you can see, got some real nice colour on it now. So all I'm going to do is transfer it to my tray, and I'm going to put it in the oven for 15 minutes. And after 15 minutes, I'll insert the tip of a knife in these breasts. And if it's running clear, it's done. So check it after 15 minutes. If you think it needs another minute, just go minute to minute then on it. So I'm going to put that in the oven. We'll come back in 15. Right, my duck's been in for 15 minutes. So I'm just going to test it. As you can see, I've made a hole and press. The juices, as you can see on my knife, still a bit bloody. So I'm going to put it in for about another five minutes and check it. But you can see all this beautiful duck fat rendering out. Great for some potatoes. Right, my duck has been in 25 minutes. So in the thickest part of the breast, go in. And the juices, as you can see, are running over my knife. Are running clear. So what we're going to do with that. I'm going to wrap it in foil. I'm just going to put it back on top of the oven, the oven switched off, going to keep it warm for 10 minutes, let it relax, let all those lovely juices, that fat, redistribute through the bird and then we're going to carve it off the bone, take the legs off and hopefully it'll be nice and pink. Right, my duck's done. I've rested it for 10 minutes. Here's the moment of truth. Obviously, get here. I want it pink if I can. So I'm just going to take the legs off by just gently cutting down there. 
give it a snap out the joint still a bit hot but you can see it's lovely and we go that one snap it come on oh it's hot that is there's my little legs right let's bring the camera in for this bit let's get to those breasts so I'm going to hold it down the breastbone Just gently carve it away on the breast there's a one take that fill it off I like that mm. Mm. chef perks oh that's gorgeous I mean, this is different at being wild to a farmed. Obviously, this has done more work. So, you really want this little bit pink. You know, nice and tender. Let's get those off there. Let's have that. And just give it a slice. As you can see, it's cooked to absolute perfection. There's a one breast. So what I'm going to do, put that back together. Finest Meccano set you can have. Put it on my plate. So I put one breast there. Cut this one on the bias. Just have a look. That. I put one there. I'm going to put my legs on top like that. looking amazing this is some homemade apple sauce I mean you could serve this with a nice celeriac an apple puree but you know I'm going to keep it simple I mean that looks fantastic I need a glass a real ale and we'll give it a try so you can see that breasts nice and pink a bit of that apple Oh, that's fantastic. I mean, that is the only way to cook duck. Well, folks, that's absolutely gorgeous. You have a bit of that leg. You must give that a go. That is the way to cook it. And please join me for part three, when we're going to do a real nice dish with the breasts. So, thanks for joining me. I'm gonna have a uh, sip and I'll see you again.